Hi guys, I'm Kev from SonsOfCane.com and on this video we're going to look at using the cane when you haven't got great grip strength. Also on this video, we'll give you a few ideas on how you can actually build your grip strength up. As usual, the Chris is with me. Hi Chris. Hi Kev. As I live on my own, I do have tremendous grip strength anyway. But just in case you don't, here's a couple of things we can do which will help so you can do some nice self-defense techniques and we'll show you a couple of ways to start improving grip strength over a slow period of time. Don't forget, if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and also just a reminder, you only have to hit it once, a lot like Kevin. <laughs> hit that notification bell to receive notifications and as always, Somebody's got their new meds this morning, haven't they? Free the fear and the opioids. <laughs> Over the last few months, we've had some correspondence from people. Thank you. Um, and they were saying about grip strength. And obviously, as you get advanced in years, um, more mature and more wise. You're yes. advanced, but you're not mature. Thank you. Your grip strength isn't what it used to be. So we're going to look at some sticky cane principles. So Chris is going to come in, and we're just going to do this light, and he's just going to grab the cane. That's a nice cane. I really want it. Now, on the sticky cane principle, we're looking at where his arm is, and how I can tie him up, go over the thumb, so he loses grip. But normally I have got a bit of a grip on there or what I call the thumb grip to just roll. So if we look at this from a logic point of view, we've got a nice crook here. The hand can come through and just raise your hand. I've now got a lot of strength here to control. Flat hand again, if I come over, I've now got either an arm bar wrist lock if he keeps holding, if not, I've got the cane back, go away. You can, <laughs> come back, come back. <laughs> He's got so sensitive over Christmas. Also, we've got the tap-ons. So we're gonna just have the crook this way a little bit, mate, yeah? So again, you push and you pull and you force forward. Yes, technically you let go of the cane, but the big bad man doesn't know what you're going to do. So it's going to come really quick, really surprised, and then by the time he's realised, the hand comes through, pulls the cane back. These are just little start-off ideas that we've got for this. Um, the one I love is I come under the arm and just come through. No grip strength needed at all. Get yourself a training partner, if you can, and just look at the cane and go, Right, I can push and pull, I could drag, I can push in, I can reverse up there, and I'm not actually using any grip strength. Chris is going to look at this now with able-bodied cane, but maybe you've had an, an RSI, repetitive strain injury, yep. or you've got arthritis and stuff like that. We're going to look at it that way, we're going to bring Dan in, because I'm not paying him nothing to do nothing. Right. I'm quite happy, I can grip the cane unless I get, I, I do occasionally, if I don't warm up properly, hurt my wrist. Kevin's smirking at me profusely on that <laughs> one. What can you do? Different for me, I'm standing, I'm mobile, I may be able to hold the cane like this. What I will be doing is either using these hook grips and my forearm to strike. So if I'm here, Dan's here. Dan is just going to be my target for today. We're not going to be doing applications of this. This is just how to do it. Later on we'll build on in what to do with it. So if I'm here, I've got a small grip. Don't forget, you can quite happily kick the cane and you've got a very nice target there. Oh. I see the acting lessons are paid off, Dan. Yep, I got it for Christmas. <laughs> Lesson 10 already. Yeah. If I want to strike, We've got all of this, but all I like to do is actually lock it off so I've got control. I've then got some very nice movement on the cane. I can hold it, so I'm not gripping the cane. I've just put my arms in a cross. 
and I'm holding it here. So I can use my body to strike and drag. I can push through. So very simple. If he grabs the cane, which he want to do, just by doing more circles, I've still got the technique, I can push through. I can use my cane, my forearm, to flick. So I've still got, I'm not gripping the cane, I'm just keeping it in position, it's loose in my hand. It's my forearm doing the work. I can hook it round here. So if I've got anything going on, say it does grab the cane, same as the sticky cane. I'm not, I haven't got the grip strength to hold it. So I'm just using my arms. There's no grip going on. I'm back in this position as well. But little things to play with. If I'm here, I've got it up, loose, forearm. Use the forearm to push the cane, flip the cane. This is my pivot point. I haven't got good grip strength and I have to build up with it. Um, Kev has better grip strength being a bass player. But I do get arthritis in my hands and I found that these exercises make life easier during the winter months. First one we do, when we do our karate warm up, we would stand in a cheek dash or stance, sumo stance, arms out and we're opening and closing and making a fist. We're not flicking our fingers out, we're opening and making a fist and tensing at the end. So it's not this, it's this. And we go around, we go around the room. So we start off with 10, and then we move our arms to the side, turn our hands over. If you can only do one, do one. Build up. Next week, do two. And it's a very simple way of just getting the movement in. If you have got arthritis, it actually helps, because it's a non-impact exercise. With me, I roll the fingers, and then the hands downwards. This really helps me because I walk with canes, so I tend to get pressure points here that sort of tend to hurt, and also across my hands here. So by just doing this, I've noticed that every year it's getting easier. There's another subtle point with that exercise. I was shown this one. Now I'm going to borrow Dan. You just need a Dan. Come on, Dan. That's no, right. You can keep the cane. But so I'm going to. So just put your arm out of the way because I'm going to grab the old love handles. If I grab his t-shirt, you can see that's how much cloth I've got just by opening and closing my fist. If you roll it, you've suddenly got a lot more. So by doing that, if I was actually to grab hold of him and do that, I wouldn't grab him there. I like to grab him here and do it, <laughs> or around here, or the tricep. But that will gather so much more. The second exercise I like to do is isometrics. Left hands on top, palm down, right hand bottom, palm up, fingers to finger, and just gently pull away. Release, pull away, release. And you build up. After 10, swap the hands over. And all this is doing is just bring, building your finger strength up a bit more. Once you've been doing it for a while, with a partner, you can just gently pull, and it is just literally like pushing hands, but with a pull. And then you swap positions, and do it again. Now I know a lot of people, they think that warm ups and these little exercises are silly, they'll go into the club, they may do a couple of little bits, and they practice. Chris is what I call a proper martial artist. He wakes up in the morning, thinks about martial arts, he trains four or five times a week, um, he goes to bed, last probably thought in his mind is either what video we're doing next week or a martial art technique. This is why we work well together, we've got the same sort of mentality. So Chris knows how to warm up and he does. Not all the time. We had some swords and Chris was just trying a technique and all it was was a backslash. And your wrist was sore for how long? <laughs> 10 days. 10 days. And that's because the movement that he was doing wasn't a natural movement for his karate or for the cane. It is for me because that's my, one of my major strikes. So I'm used to doing it. So if you want your grip strength to increase, if you want to be injury free, 
build this up slowly and make it religion for yourself. Every sort of morning you wake up, you do some little exercises. You have a cup of tea while they're waiting for the kettle to boil, exercises. Just make it part of your daily routine and I guarantee, as with the punchy bags, start off soft, build up. Before you know it, you've got a visual representation of how, how much you've improved. Yeah. Best thing for improving the grip strength is your cane. If you look at the Cane Masters International System, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, please jump on Mark's site, have a look at his YouTube channel. One of the warm ups is to grab your cane, grab it at the end, and you're pulling it behind your head, swinging it down, and controlling the stop, and bringing it back. And the idea is you do, you build up to 50. I did 10, first time I ever did it, and my forearm and my hand was killing me. To start with, just do it comfortably, choke up the cane, light end, pull with your little finger. So that grip we were doing earlier, do it with the cane, do one. Start at one. Yeah. When you're comfortable, build up to two. Move your hand down the cane, so as you progress, the cane gets heavier. Turn the cane, heavier still, more control. You've probably heard this saying of before, train heavy, fight light. So I actually train light and fight heavy, but I prefer my heavier cane. But for, that's just me, but for building up my grip strength, this really helped. One side, other side, both hands. So you can do the 12 cane strikes with them, but this will really improve your grip, but go slow with it. Build up the control, build up the strength, otherwise you will hurt your wrist. Another one we've got is what we call choking the cane. Your hands come on, lightly to start with, and your left hand's gonna go forward. So you're at a sort of angle, and you're just gonna squeeze the cane and rotate your hands. You'll see the crook sometimes move, sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't matter. The idea is to just put a little bit of force in between your fingers. Again, light grip to start with. You start off with maybe two revolutions and that's it. And you build up and build up and build up. I find that I'm doing this most nights now with, I've got the, we call it the sock or the iron palm bag. I'm either punching, putting in the fingers, the chops, or I'm doing this with the cane. And Chris is going to show you another one. It's quite similar. Very similar. Hold the cane and grip the cane and try and press your thumbs together. And you'll feel that all over, but good for grip strength. And then try and pull the cane apart. As Mark says, if you could do that and pull the cane apart, <coughs> have a word because we can make money off of that. But the <laughs> idea is, but you'll feel it in your hands all the way across. So these are good exercises. You can change the angles as well. And you can feel the benefits of that. Add in the little grips and twist grips as well. But all these exercises, please start off very light, very low reps, and just build up. It's not a contest, you're only you know, basically against yourself. If it was a contest, you, I'd know, lose. I, you know I'd win. Yeah, I'd lose. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you liked the video. Keep your comments coming down below, we absolutely adore them, thank you. J'adore les comments. Sometimes I even read them in English. As always, please hit the subscribe button. Please give us some feedback on this one because this issue doesn't affect me, so I don't have any idea really of where you're coming from. We need input, guys, to make this better, and that's what we're looking for. It's an idea. Please work on it. Please tell us where we're going wrong. Once you've done that, hit that lovely bell up there. Because it's Christmas. Oh. So after a year, you now tell me the bell's down here. This is some but No, no, no. There is, there is. When you go up to the top right hand corner of the video, there is like a little bar that pops down. You can press the bell up there. That's not, that's, not, that's a pop up. Yeah, you can. Anyway. Where were I before I was rudely interrupted? Sure. We'll go back to the beginning. No, no, it's alright. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, 
Don't forget, as always, you can ring the bell, which is apparently down here, not up there. Nice to know these things after over a year of this, I know. And as always, like a bird that has been caged and entrapped, even though it is a gilded cage, free the fear. <laughs>